सो हे गाइज वेलकम बैक दिस इज अनमोल शुक्ला एंड वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल फिस्ट्री विद मी टूगेदर वी विल मेक थिंग्स सिंपल इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट को रिलेशन एंड इट्स टाइम्स विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट पीरियड ऑफ टाइम वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज दिस को रिलेशन वॉट आर इट्स वेरियस टाइप्स विद एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट टूडेज लेक्चर विल नॉट टेक दैट मच टाइम एंड will understand will understand this topic and let's start the lecture but before that if you're new to the channel subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the daily updates and notifications also if you haven't joined my telegram group yet join it link is in the description box you can connect with me personally by following me on instagram too so you can follow me on instagram too you can say thanks to me by using thanks button so let's start today's lecture to sabse pehle samajhte hain ki bhai ye correlation hota kya hai ab dekho jaisa ki naam mein hi likha hua hai likhi hui hai ye cheez कोरिलेशन जब आप बोलते हो तो इसमें ही आपको रिलेशन वर्ड दिखता है रिलेशन रिलेशन दिखाता है कि भाई अब अब देखो रिलेशन जाहिर सी बात है रिलेशन दो क्वांटिटीज के बीच में होगा सो so, यहां पर मिनिमम दो क्वांटिटीज तो चाहिए ना इन ऑर्डर टू डिफाइन रिलेशन इट सेल्फ यू नीड टू वेरिएबल्स यू नीड टू क्वांटिटीज देन ओनली यूल डिफाइन रिलेशन ना कि भाई एक्स और वाई के बीच में ये रिलेशन है ए और बी के बीच में ये रिलेशन है so in order to define relation itself you need more than one quantity so correlation sabse pehle ye ek statistical measure hai ye ek statistical measure hai jo ki describe karta hai do variables ke beech ki relationship ko ab wo do variables kuch bhi ho sakte hain unke beech ki relationship ko explain karne wale statistical measure ko hum को रिलेशन कहते हैं बस इतना ध्यान रखो लेट सपोज दो वेरिएबल्स एक मान लो स्पीड है एक मान लो टाइम है अब इन दोनों वेरिएबल्स के बीच में ये स्टैटिस्टिकल मेजर को रिलेशन आपको इन दोनों के बीच की रिलेशनशिप को डिस्क्राइब करेगा कि भाई क्या है इनके बीच की रिलेशनशिप वेदर दिस रिलेशनशिप इज इनवर्स रिलेशनशिप वेदर दिस इन वेदर दिस रिलेशनशिप इज प्रपोर्शनल रिलेशनशिप वेदर बोथ बोथ दू वेरिएबल्स गोज इन द सेम डायरेक्शन और दे मूव इन दिट डायरेक्शन सो दिस स्टेटिस्टिकल मेजर को रिलेशन विल हेल्प यू इन डिटरमाइनिंग द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू वेरिएबल्स सो वॉट आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट वी हैव टू वेरिएबल्स लेट सपोज वी हैव टू वेरिएबल्स वन वेरिएबल इज स्पीड एंड अनदर वन इज टाइम इन द सेकेंड paragraph you can see that let's suppose there are two variables one variable is speed simply speed and one is time now the change in one variable here definitely creates an impact in other let's suppose we say that the the speed is increasing now as the speed is increasing let's suppose you have a scooter or you have a bike you have a motor bike or let's suppose you have a car when you increase the speed let's suppose you need to move from destination a to destination b if you increase your speed definitely you'll reach in less time so definitely the the, the change in one variable creates an impact in another variable if you're going to increase your speed definitely will take lesser time so that's how correlation works it tells us the relation between the variables it tells us how the change in one variable will create an impact in another how the change in one variable affects the other variable how strong that effect is or how weak that effect is it tells everything about that it tells it basically it's a it's, it's a statistical measure that describes the relationship between two variables and when we talk about relationship here it means what we are talking about is how the one variable uh, or the change in one variable impacts the other variable so that's what correlation is i hope main aapko clearly explain kar paya hu aasan bhasha mein ki bhai correlation kya hai and with the example of speed and time i hope it is crystal clear to you now now the third paragraph that you can see here is it helps us and it helps us to understand how changes in one variable relate to changes in another variable so that's what we are studying till now ki how the change in one variable let's suppose how the change in speed or how the change in time relates to change in another variable how the change in speed creates an impact on time like if you're going to increase the speed definitely will take you will able to cover the distance in in, in much less time 
So it helps us to understand how changes in one variable relate to changes in another variable. Let's suppose you took you let's suppose aapne, aapne, uh, ghante TV dekha. So the more you will watch TV, thus the less you will be able to score in your exam. So here are the two variables. Can you see the relationship? How how it works? What the relation is, whether it is proportional or inverse. So I am saying ki bhai, jitna zyada aap TV dekhoge, utne hi kam aapke marks aayenge. So the relation here is inverse. The more you will watch TV, the increase in the uh, in uh, the, in the number of hours that you are going to give or you are going to spend in TV or television, the less you will be able to score in your exam. So that's how the relationship is here. So correlation can be thought of as a way to determine if two things are related and how strongly they are related. So the, the, the application part is, as you can understand here, ki, isko is se samjha da sakta hai, ki do cheezein, do variables, kis tarike se aapas mein related hai, aur kaise ek variable ke bade, ke badne par, ya ghatne par, dousre variable ka par kya fark parta hai. Basically how strongly they are related, that's what I, I mean to say. Now let's let's see ki kitne tarike ke correlation dekhne ko milte hain. So the first type is positive correlation. Now when both the variables move in the same direction, ab dono hi variable agar same direction mein move kare, or they have a relation of uh, relation of proportionality between them. Okay, beech mein proportionality ka relationship uh, relationship kahin na kahin dekhne ko mile. So वो positive correlation mein hota hai. Let's suppose the more you will exercise, the more you the more fit you will be. So that's a proportionality relationship between the two vari between uh, the two variables here. If the more you will exercise is one variable, and the more fit you will be is another variable, and both are moving in the same direction. Why? Because the more you will exercise, the more fit you will be. So there is a proportionality relationship between them. So it's a positive correlation because both of these variables moves in the same direction. Another example can be the amount of study. And uh, the percentage achieved in exam, so the more study you will do, the harder you will study, the more good your marks will be, the more good your percentage uh, will be in your exam. So the amount of study and the percentage achieved in exam, that is also one of the example of positive correlation. Okay, so I hope you got an idea about positive correlation. And what about negative correlation? Next. Now, when both of the variables, I hope... Uh, you are aware now, that when both of the variables move in opposite direction, so they don't move in the same direction, like positive correlation, now they move, now they move in opposite direction, so they don't have th that proportionality relationship now, unke beech mein inverse relationship hogi. then it is said to be a negative correlation, so when, vari when one variable increases here, other tends to decrease. So example can be like as one exercise more, the body weight decreases. So when you will exercise more or you can say uh, when one uh, do more and more cardio, the body weight decreases. So definitely it's a it's a negative correlation. The increase in one quantity uh, or an increase in one variable decreases another variable. So that's a negative correlation. That is the variables move in opposite direction. And one variable increases, other variables decreases. Other variable decreases. Sorry. So uh, it can be the more you work, the less free time you will have. So that is also these two variables also have a negative relationship in between them. So that is also one of the, one of the example of negative correlation. Like the more you work, the less free time you will have. Okay. So I hope you have correlation ke baare mein jo hai wo thoda sa idea laga hoga aapke dimag mein aap के दिमाग में ये चीजें बैठी होंगी कि भाई कोरिलेशन क्या है और कि पॉजिटिव कोरिलेशन क्या है नेगेटिव कोरिलेशन क्या है तो अगर आपको समझ में आया है तो कमेंट करके मुझे जरूर बताइए इसके बाद कोई भी आर्टिकल पढ़िए रिलेटेड टू कोरिलेशन यू विल बी गुड टू गो फॉर योर एग्जाम और मोस्टली इट कैन बी आस्क्ड इन मे बी थ्री मार्क्स और इट कैन बी आस्क इन सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मार्क्स बट नॉट मोर देन दैट फिफ्टीन मार्क्स में शायद ही पूछा जाए बहुत ही मुश्किल है सो दैट इज इट फॉर टूडे विल सी इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर टेक केयर